and by the end of this video you would have learned how to detect a face add a material to it play a video on top of it and make objects follow its rotation and position as well so let's get started hey what's up it's asha here from immersive insiders and on this channel we help you become professional xr developers and designers in today's video we are going to learn about face detection which is another cool feature of ai foundation if you haven't checked out my previous video about plane detection and image tracking then you should definitely check it out over here. Now this video will be divided into three sections. In the first one, we'll learn about mapping our face and adding nice material to it. In the next section, we'll learn about playing videos on them. And finally, we'll learn how to render objects as per the rotation and uh, position of our face. So let's get started. So here I have my Unity project open, which is already set up for AR development. Now, if you're not sure how it's done, then you should definitely check out my video over here, which talks about the entire setup that you'll have to do in order to get your project ready for Android deployment and for AR development as well. But to give you a quick overview, I'm using Unity version 2021.3.4 F1. And if I go to Windows Package Manager, here you can see that I'm using AR Foundation Package version 4.2.3 and AR Core plugin version 4.2.3 as well. Now here I have created an empty scene which has a main camera and direction light. The first thing to do here is to get rid of the main camera and let us add the two important component. One is the AR session origin and the other one is AR session. Now to add the face detection feature, you will have to click on AR session origin and add a component which is called as AR face manager. Now this component manages the addition, updating or cancellation of game object based on your uh, face detection events. So for example, when your face is detected, it adds a game object. For example, if you give a face prefab, it just adds it on top of your face. And if you move your face around, it moves along as well. And when your face is no longer seen, it removes that prefab. So that is what the AR face manager does. Next, it asks us to add a parameter, which is the face prefab. Now to create it, you can right click on hierarchy, click on XR and select the AR default face. Now this will create a game object, which has so many components as you can see here. Let's go through them one by one. Now the first component is AR face. Now this component stores all the information when it comes to face recognition, like when your face is detected, it generates a mesh and it stores all the information related to it. Now once it generates the mesh, it has to add that mesh to the mesh collider and to the mesh filter. But with just mesh collider and mesh filter, you'll not be actually able to visualize the mesh. So you need another component which is called as AR face mesh visualizer. So with these components in place, now you will be able to see the mesh on top of your face once it's detected. Now, if you want to change the material of it, by default, you can see we have something called as debug face. Now, if I select it, it's something like green in color. But if you want, you can create your own material. You can right click, go to create and let us select material. And I'm not sure why it didn't come. Let's try that out once again. Let's create a material. There we go. We'll call it as face material and let us change its colors to something like blue maybe perfect and now you can select the AR default face and add your material to this uh, mesh renderer then we need to convert it into a prefab so all you need to do is drag and drop it in here and we'll get rid of it from the hierarchy now you can select AR session origin drag and drop the default face that we created and save your scene before we build and test this out, there's one more thing that we'll have to do. You'll have to open the AR session origin, select the AR camera game object, scroll all the way down till you find the AR camera manager. Now here the facing direction by default is world. We'll have to change it to user so that it uses the front camera of our device. Now you can save the scene once again, go to file, click on build settings and make sure you have connected your device to your uh, machine, either laptop or PC. And then you can click on build and run. Let us give it some name. I'm going to call it as test eight and click on save. And I'll see you once it's done building. So here you can see that my face is detected and there's a mesh created and the blue color material has been added as well. And it looks really cool. You should definitely try this out. All right, now we know how to add materials on top of the detected face. Now let's see how to render videos on top of it. So the first thing to do here is to obviously import a video. So let me quickly import it into the project here. Now I'm using some demo video, which looks like this. It has some graphic content on top of it. Now let us go back into Unity. 
Now we have the video, we need to play it. So to do that, we have to add the video player. So you can right click on in the hierarchy, click on video and add the video player. Now the video player, we need to give a video clip, which we have over here. So drag and drop it. And then we want to uh, have an output on a render texture. So to create a render texture in your project window, you can right click, select create and select render texture. We'll rena rename this as face render texture and let us have it uh, as 1280 cross 920 so that is 16 is to 9 then we'll have to create a material for it so let us right click create material we'll call this as face material face video material there we go and you can drag and drop the render texture in here Perfect. Now all we have to do is select the video player and drag and drop the render texture into here. So basically what we have done is the video plays, it has the output on the render texture. And now that output of the render texture is going to this material over here. Now if we add this material to any game object of our choice, it's going to render that. So to quickly test it out, you can right click and create a cube and add the face video material here. Now if I press play, the video should start playing on all the faces. So there we go, it's working perfectly fine. Now we'll exit the play mode, get rid of the cube. Let the video player be there. So I'm going to check on loop so that it keeps looping. Now as usual, we have our AR default face here. Now instead of the face material, we'll drag and drop the face video material. Perfect. Now just to check once again, so we have the AR session origin. We have the AR default face, which is this one. And this has the face video material. Perfect. Now you can save the scene and go to file, build settings and click on build and run. I'm going to call this as test nine and save. And I'll see you once it's done building. By the way, we have a free ebook linked in the description, which talks about the biggest mistakes you could make as an aspiring XR developer. Now this will give you a huge advantage over others. So you should definitely check it out. Now this looks so cool. The video starts playing as soon as your face is detected. And I love it. All right, now moving on to the last part where we'll see how to render objects. So here, let us start by getting rid of the video player or we just disable it. And we'll have to create a game object that will follow our face. And that game object is gonna be something called as tri-axis. Now it is similar to the axis that you see here, but we'll be creating it using cubes. So right click, create an empty game object. We'll call it as tri-axis. And in here, let us create a cube like this. We'll call it as X axis and let us scale it down so the x-axis has to be more than the other so we'll keep it at 0.1 and the rest of them are going to be 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 now we want it to start from the origin so let us move it in the x direction by 0 0.05 there we go now i'll duplicate it and we'll name this as y-axis y-axis and here this is going to be 0 the y is going to be 0 0.05. The scale in x direction is going to be 0 0.01 and here is going to be 0 0.1. So we have the y axis ready as well. And let us duplicate this. Call this as z axis. And similarly, we'll put it to 0, 0 0.05. This is going to be 0 0.01 and this is going to be 0 0.1. So there we have it. So we have a tri-axis which has x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. Now we'll add some different materials so that we can identify them. Now the general convention x is red, uh, y is blue and uh, sorry z is blue and y is green. So we'll create three materials. we we'll go to create material. We'll call it as x-axis material and this is going to be red duplicate this we'll call this as y-axis material and that is going to be green and finally we have the z-axis material which is going to be blue obviously and now we can assign each of the material to the respective cube so x is going to go to x y goes to y and z goes to z-axis perfect so now we have this ready now the next thing to do is to create like you remember how we created the AR face. Similarly, we can right click, create an empty game object. Let us call it as AR 
uh, prefab. Now you can drag and drop this in here. Make sure it's at origin. And now for this prefab, we have to add the AR face component. That's it. So we have the AR prefab. It is called. It has the AR AR face component and it has the triaxis. Now to convert into a prefab, obviously you have to drag and drop it into the project window here like that. And let us get rid of it from here. Now you can select the AR session origin and let us drag and drop the AR prefab over here. That's it. Now you can save your scene, go to file, build settings and click on build and run. This time I'm gonna call it as test 10. Click on save and as usual, I'll see you once it's done building and here you can see the triaxis is following my head orientation and if i move my head it follows uh, along as well perfect so with that you have learned how to detect face and add material to it add a video to it and you know how to make objects follow your face rotation and position as well now if you want to learn more about it then you need to definitely check out this documentation from unity which gives you an insight about everything that you need to know about face tracking and they have also provided a github repository as well and uh, right now the repository is for ar foundation 5.0 but we are working on 4.2 so you need to click on main and select the 4.2 version then you can click on the code and download the project now once you have downloaded and opened the project you can go into assets scenes and here we have face tracking now there are so many scenes that are there you can check out one by one and you'll definitely know more about them so if you feel that this video has helped you i would highly appreciate it if you could subscribe and leave a thumbs up which shows us to produce more videos just for you and as usual i will see you in the next one